Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be part four to my makeup declutter. If you haven't seen parts one through three, I will link them down below in the description box. But today, we are going to be doing lip products. So I have three lip drawers dedicated in my IKEA 9 drawer units. Um, I actually have a fourth drawer. This has like lip treatments, chapsticks, and then lip scrubs. Um, so I'll probably go through that too, but just know that I collect lip scrubs, so <laughs> probably not going to get rid of too many of those, but I have a ton of lip glosses, way too many. Um, I have a ton of lipsticks, lip glosses, and then these are mostly liquid lipsticks. I also have this bin here full of lip products. Most of these are new. A lot of them were sent to me as PR, and I featured them in my most recent PR haul, but some of them are just like not in their right home, so I have those there. I also have like all of my Jeffree Star Cosmetics lip products and then some other miscellaneous ones around my makeup room, but I'm not getting rid of any Jeffree Star ones. I might go through some of the lip drawers that are in these acrylic things that I got from TJ Maxx, but for the most part, we're going to be focusing here. Here is a declutter box. These are all of the highlighters that I'm decluttering. I also have a donation box here, and then this box full of stuff, which I haven't gone through. Like, some of this stuff will be donation stuff. Um, and then the rest of it will go to my friends and family. I also have a skincare declutter coming soon. That will be my next declutter project once I finish my entire makeup collection. I have this entire Alex Nindra unit full of skincare plus everything on top here. So that's gonna be a really big project as well. So anyway, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I'm gonna do is go through this basket right here. I'm just gonna kind of organize these into categories. So I'm gonna try to put like lipsticks in one, lip glosses in the other, and then maybe liquid lipsticks in the other, depending on what kinds of products are in here. I just wanna get these kind of organized first. Okay, so I have these separated out into lip glosses and like lip balm kind of things here. Then here I have lipsticks and then these like lip pencils. Um, and then here I have lip liners and liquid lipsticks. I think these are liquid lipsticks. They're from Motives Cosmetics, I believe. Um, but I'm going to have to double check. I can't remember. But um, yeah, so now that I have those sorted out, I can move on to the drawers. So this is my first lip drawer. We've got a couple of miscellaneous bullet lipsticks back here, a bunch of liquid lipsticks, um, some smaller liquid lipsticks. We have some other bullet lipsticks here. And then I keep all of my Fenty gloss bombs here along with a couple of random ill maquillage and Carly Bible products that I put right there, but it's not very organized. Um, I don't think there's anything behind this, but I'm also going to try to do as many swatches as I can today since I haven't really been doing a ton of those this round of decluttering. Um, so I guess we'll just go ahead and get started. I want this drawer to be dedicated to liquid lipsticks. This little lip organizer fits in here perfectly and it also fits these Marc Jacobs lipsticks and I haven't found another lip organizer that fits them so um, I am going to keep that in here. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'll fill the bottom of it or what um, but that's probably going to stay here but there's all these bullet lipsticks I want to move to the next drawer over. I'm going to start by going through this front section here. I'm going to start with these three products from Pixi. These are all new to my collection so I will be keeping them. I swatched them and they look so pretty. Here are the three shades swatched. We've got a pink, a coral, and a nude. Next I have this Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Charm. This is so, so pretty. Definitely not the kind of color that I typically reach for but I do want to keep this one. Here is the swatch of that liquid lipstick. It's super opaque and it's a nice deep rich red but it still has a little brightness to it if you know what I mean. I have this liquid lipstick from the lip bar. I think I got this at Target in like a lip set 
and it's really pretty but I have so many colors like this so I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter this one here's a swatch of that liquid lipstick it's really really pretty definitely something that I would actually wear but like I said I know that I have a million lip products that are gonna look exactly like this so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one so that I can keep some other ones that I prefer these are two buxom full-on plumping lip creams this formula is actually like a lip gloss so this isn't even in the right drawer but I have the shades white Russian and dolly I do think that I have full sizes of these shades so I'm gonna put these in the maybe pile until I get to my lip gloss drawer and can confirm that but both of these are absolutely beautiful and I love both shades I have three of these profusion liquid lipsticks and all three of these shades are absolutely beautiful I just feel like I'm not gonna reach for these over some of my other liquid lipsticks that I like better for example my morphe liquid lipstick in the shade virgin here are the swatches they're super opaque and creamy um I just feel like I have so many lip products, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these. They're not bad. I don't have anything negative to say about them. Um, I just know myself, and I know that I'm probably not going to reach for these ones over some of my favorite shades. I have two of these Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These are both super pretty. The two shades that I have are Pink Really Hard and Nudie Patootie. I actually used the shade Nudie Patootie in one of my recent videos. I think it was a full face of makeup I forgot about, but I could be wrong. Um, and I am going to go ahead and keep both of these shades. I'm still experimenting with this formula. So far, I think I like it, but I really want to find a more pinky nude shade something kind of like virgin from morphe <laughs> just to see like how i like the formula in one of my everyday colors but i will be keeping both of these next i have two bullet lipsticks that are in these longer skinnier packaging i just put these in here because they didn't fit anywhere else but hopefully i'll be able to fit them in my lipstick drawer um but i have a charlotte tilbury one i think it's in the shade sexy lips it's kind of like a lip balm looking thing and then i have this fenty uh, lipstick in the shade Trophy Wife. Here are those two swatches. The Trophy Wife one was a limited edition lipstick in a holiday set from this past holiday season. Um, and then I don't know where I got the Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't know if I bought it or if it was sent to me as PR, but I will be keeping both of these as well. This liquid lipstick is from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I absolutely love this color. It's in the shade Nakey Nakey. The only bad thing about this lipstick is that the packaging leaks and I don't know why. So I have to stand it up straight so that it doesn't leak out this clear fluid. Um, but other than that, it's absolutely perfect. I love the formula. I love the color. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely be keeping this one. I have these two liquid lipsticks from Motives, and both of these are so pretty. I know this isn't like a super mainstream brand, but they actually reached out to me and sent me a PR package. I definitely am not going to keep all of the lip products that they sent me, but these two are so pretty. Here are the swatches. I feel like all of the swatches that I've shown you are coming off a little bit more warm toned than what they are in real life. They're definitely more like kind of cool toned mauve -y look looking liquid lipsticks but I feel like on camera they look very like peachy and warm toned but both of these are so pretty and definitely shades I would reach for so I am going to keep both of these. I have these three mini liquid lipsticks from Kylie Cosmetics. These are from her most recent Stormy collection. I will be keeping all three of these because the colors are so fun and I love the Kylie liquid lipstick formula. Here are the swatches of those three liquid lipsticks. I'm going to move on to this back section here. I'm actually going to go ahead and look for all of my Laura Lee Los Angeles ones so that I can also store them standing up just in case these ones start to leak as well. So I decided that really wasn't a good idea. So I'm just going to start going into this next section here. I found two Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipsticks. We have Coral Pop and Cabana. I will be keeping both of these. Here are swatches of those two liquid lipsticks. I have this Stila Stay All Day liquid lipstick in the shade Angelo and although this is such a pretty color I just don't find myself ever reaching for Stila lip products so I am going to go ahead and declutter this one. Here is a swatch of it. It's so freaking pretty but I don't need it. Here is a Too Faced Metallic liquid lipstick in the shade You Better Work. Here's the swatch of it. This is definitely not a color that I would really reach for ever. So I am going to go ahead and declutter this one. I also don't really wear a ton of metallic liquid lips. I definitely will keep a few, but this is definitely not one that I would wear. Also, I just wanted to give the disclaimer that I do purchase a lot of makeup, but I've been doing really good this year on 
kind of, you know, taking a step back and not going too, too crazy with purchasing a ton of new makeup. I also get a lot of makeup sent to me as PR now, and that's part of why I have so many products. Um, I do donate a ton. I also give a ton of makeup to friends and family. Lip products are a little iffy just because, like, I mean, there's only, like, one or two people that I would feel comfortable giving my used lipsticks to, like, my mom. <laughs> but, um, other than that, if I were to donate it, it would have to still be in, like, the packaging or something like that. But, uh, for the most part, nothing gets thrown away. Uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. But I have been really trying, um, on not buying as much excess makeup this year. That's kind of been my resolution. I found two other Laura Lee liquid lipsticks that I will be keeping. These two shades are Topless and Jaybird. Oddly enough, I have another Stila liquid lipstick in the shade Angelo. I have two of them, which is so weird. I'm not sure how I acquired either of these. I definitely didn't buy them, like, from the store. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I, I mean, I feel like I got one in BoxyCharm and then one in something else, but, um, I don't, I didn't even know I had two. I do not need either of these. I have a ton of these Rimmel, what are these called? <laughs> Provocalypse, and all of these are brand new. Um, they sent these to me in PR around Valentine's Day. I think I might keep like one or two shades, but then the rest I will declutter. I'm gonna keep these two and then I will declutter these four. I'm definitely more of like a pinky lip kind of person, like a pinky nude. Um, so I'll go ahead and get rid of all the red ones and then I'll give these a try. I haven't ever tried this formula, but I know it's been around for a while and I know a lot of people like it. And all of those are brand new, have never been opened or swatched. I have five of these Kaleidos Lip Tonics. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these and I'll keep the shades that I like and then I will declutter the ones that I don't think I'm going to wear. Here are swatches of those five liquid lips. The bottom three are a very thin formula. It's almost like a wash of color, but that's how it's intended to be. And then the top two are more pigmented and red shades. The This one here is like a metallic. This one is more of like a regular matte finish. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and keep the three bottom shades and then I'll declutter both of the red ones because once again, I'm not really a red person. If I wear a red lip, I'm most likely going to wear a Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lip. So these two can go and I will keep these three. I have a backup of my Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Virgin. I will be keeping this. I'm almost out of the one that I'm currently using and then I will move on to this one. I have these two drugstore liquid lips. They're actually very, very similar. This one is from Revlon and then the other one is from Physicians Formula. Here are the swatches of the two. They are very similar. Like I said, this one is the Revlon. This one is the Physicians Formula. I'm going to go ahead and keep the Physicians Formula and declutter the Revlon. I have these two liquid lipsticks from NARS. Here are the two shades swatched. The top one is called Give It Up and the bottom one is called Wild Night. I actually think Wild Night is such a cool color. Both of these are brand new to me. I got the pink one in my BoxyCharm and my mom got the dark purple one. She knew she wasn't going to use the dark purple one so she gave it to me. Um, so I will be keeping both of these. I have these three liquid lipsticks from Dominique Cosmetics. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these and see what the colors really look like. Here are the three shades from top to bottom. We have Love Drop, Heartbeat, and Nude Kiss. I actually really like all three of these lipsticks, and I know I said I don't wear a lot of reds, but I've only kept like one red. No, I haven't kept any reds yet. <laughs> okay, good. So I'm going to keep all three of these. I absolutely love this formula. I think it's amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep all three of them. Here are all of my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. <laughs> I definitely need to go through and swatch these because a lot of them look the same. These four liquid lipsticks came out in a set. I think they released at the same time as the Carly Bible palette. Um, that was a collab with ABH and I'm absolutely obsessed with this entire set. I love mixing them with each other as well as with other liquid lipsticks so I will be keeping all of these. Here are swatches of all four of them so even though they look kind of all the same in the tubes they are very very different when you swatch them. Here are the other four Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks that I have. I decided that I'm going to declutter these two and then keep these two. The ones that I'm decluttering are Milkshake because it's super super old <laughs> and Soft Lilac just because it's not something that I really think I'll reach for. And then I'm going to keep these two shades which are in the shades Pure Hollywood and Crush. This is the Bodyography Liquid Lipstick in the shade Basic. I decluttered all of my other Bodyography liquid lips back in my last declutter, which was in December. 
Um, I kept this one because I really liked it. I've used it a ton, but I haven't reached for it in quite some time now. Also, the cap is like cracked. So, um, I don't know if that like affects the integrity of the seal or not. So I am going to go ahead and declutter this one. I have all of my Lunar Beauty liquid lipsticks, which I will be keeping. I have the Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Hot Shot. This is another one of my go-to reds. So I will be keeping this. I have three liquid lipsticks from Believe Beauty. We have the shades Honey Blush, Mischief, and Cherry on Top. I'm actually only going to keep this one, which is Honey Blush. And then I will declutter these two. They're still brand new, unopened, and sealed. So those could be donated. I have these three lip products, which I will be keeping all of them. We have the Buxom, uh, it's kind of like a lip gloss. It's the full on plumping lip cream. So this was in the wrong drawer in the shade White Russian, which is the same shade as this mini here. So I will go ahead and declutter the mini. Um, then we have the Giorgio Armani liquid lipstick in the shade 202. Um, and then I have this Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Baroque. Here are swatches of those three shades, all ones that I absolutely love. All we have left in this back compartment here are my Ciate glitter flips and then my Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. These Glitter Flip lipsticks are all so beautiful. I'm going to keep them all. I'm absolutely obsessed with this formula. Here are all four of my Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. Here are the shades. From top to bottom, we have Posy K, One Wish, Cranes, and Kylie. I actually am going to keep all four of these as well since I do love this formula so much. These are the last two liquid lipsticks that I have for this drawer. They are both from Lottie London. I actually got them both in PR uh, very recently. I am going to go ahead and keep the more nude shade, which is this one here, and I will declutter the red one since, like I said multiple times, I'm not really a red kind of person, so I'll keep this one and declutter this one. So far, these are all of the lipsticks that I've decluttered. We've got 21 in here. I still have this front section to go through, which I'm not sure how much I'll get rid of from there. And then I have this side section here, and I don't think I'm going to get rid of anything from there, uh, but I'm going to go through it all just in case. Theoretically, I would love to move all of these bullet lipsticks into the next drawer over, um, and then I wouldn't mind putting my Fenty gloss bombs in this section right here. This is super annoying because one of these does not fit. <laughs> so what I ended up doing in this drawer is I moved my Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lipsticks, which these don't dry down matte, which I normally wouldn't consider that a liquid lipstick, but that's what they're called. So I'm going to keep them in here along with my uh, Carly Bible Ill Maquillage uh, lip products. So all of that's in there. Um, and then I have my Fenty Gloss Bombs still over here. They all wouldn't fit in this little compartment. And then I took out all the lipsticks that were in here and added them to this basket to go through for the next drawer. So this is what the after looks like. I'm really happy with decluttering this drawer. So um, I'm going to count how many products are in here and then how many I decluttered. So for my liquid lipsticks, and when I say liquid lipsticks, I'm counting everything that is in this drawer, even the like bulleted lipsticks um, and my Fenty gloss bombs and these lipsticks here. So everything in this drawer, I'm calling a liquid lipstick um, just for like my inventory purposes. <laughs> um, I plan on doing like this whole entire inventory video that Jarvis is going to help me with and it's going to be a lot but I'm super interested in seeing all the statistics so anyway I am keeping 75 lip products in this drawer and I am decluttering 21 so that is 21.8 percent decluttered so that's about a quarter um so I'm pretty happy with that um I do love lip liquid lipsticks <laughs> I really need to start venturing out some more though I do kind of stick to the same few um but that's what my everyday makeup drawer is for I've been really trying to cycle through my lip products in there so that I can you know not be too repetitive so anyway now we're gonna move on to the next drawer this next drawer has all of my Jeffree Star Cosmetics the gloss glosses and then also um a bunch of bullet lipsticks. I have some more bullet lipsticks back there and then I have some whoops <laughs> lip liners over here. 
I was gonna try to fit all of my bullet lips lipsticks in here, but I don't think that's gonna be possible, but I'm gonna try my best. I know I can get rid of quite a few of these buxom ones because they're not all shades that I would wear. Um, and then also I can probably get rid of some from back there, so anyway, um, I guess we'll go ahead and start this drawer off. I have to figure out how to fit a lot of these lipsticks in this drawer. So to start things off, I'm not going to get rid of any of my Jeffree Star glosses. I have this entire thing full of them. Um, let's see if I can... Oh man, I have one short of like fitting them all in here. <laughs> I have a couple in my everyday makeup drawer as well. But I'm not getting rid of any of these or this one. I have all of my Morphe lip liners over here and I'm going to keep those. I have a couple of lip glitters down there. Um, I'm actually going to start in this little thing right here because there should be some lipsticks that I can declutter from here. I have these three Kylie ones which I've kept in this packaging this whole time because I thought it was so 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 cute. But I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the packaging but I will be keeping all three of these lipsticks. I have quite a few of these Rimmel lipsticks. Um, I definitely don't need all of these so I'm gonna swatch them and then see which ones I'm gonna keep. Here are the first three swatched from top to bottom we have extra, sugar sugar, and snatched. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the bottom two. Um, the bottom one is the only like somewhat nude one that I have so I want to keep that one and then the shade sugar sugar is so unique so I'll keep those two and declutter that top one. Here are the next three from top to bottom we have off black, that red and lit and I'm actually going to declutter all three of these since I don't think I'll be using them but this formula by the way is super super creamy almost like a slippery formula I'm not sure what the name of these lipsticks are called they're called the lasting finish extreme lipsticks so they're all super slippery like I'll kind of just like pull this out so you can see um, very creamy, um, but very pigmented, so they're not a bad formula. I just don't think I'll use these colors, so these three will be decluttered. I have these two CoverGirl lipsticks. The one on the left is called Sultry Sienna, and then the one on the right is the Katie Cat Matte in the shade Sphinx. Um, I'm actually going to declutter both of these. They're both really pretty colors, um, but the Katie Cat Matte one is super, super, super old. Like, I've had this for at least, like, two and a half, three years. Um, but I love this. Like, I use this all the time. I think in my 2018 Vlogmas, I used this, like, almost every single day. Um, this CoverGirl one is actually newer to me, but I just don't think I'm gonna end up using this a whole lot. I don't really love the smell of CoverGirl lipsticks. That's the only drawback for me, so, um... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and declutter both of those. Here are swatches of those two shades, by the way. The top one is Sphinx, and the bottom one is Sultry Sienna. I have these two lipsticks from Believe Beauty. I'm actually going to keep both of these. I have the shades Peach Mimosa and Vintage Romance. If you guys haven't seen it, I just filmed an updated Believe Beauty review. If you are unfamiliar with the brand, they're sold exclusively at Dollar General, and everything in the makeup line is $5 or less. I absolutely love their foundation. It's my all-time favorite foundation, so I will link that video down below below if you haven't seen it yet. I highly recommend checking it out. I actually decided to go back and declutter both of these Rimmel ones as well uh, just because uh, I don't know. I feel like I have a purple one like a similar purple one in a Jeffree Star liquid lip and if I'm gonna use a like affordable nude lip I'm not gonna reach for this one. I just don't think I'll use them so I think they're better off being passed along to someone else. I have this Gucci lipstick in the shade Millicent Rose that I will also be keeping. Here's a swatch of it. My cousin Ellie got it for me while we were in New York City over this past summer and it's super pretty. It's Gucci and it was a nice gift so of course I'm keeping it. Next I have this Kesha Rose lipstick. I bought the Kesha Rose collection from Hip Dot for a review. This is just a plain red lipstick and it's not my favorite formula so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. For some reason I really want to keep that for the packaging but <laughs> I'm not going to. Then here I have three lipsticks from Buxom. Here are the three shades. Um, I'm pretty sure from top to bottom we have Racy Reveal, uh, White Russian, and Poison Nectar. Um, these are all really really pretty and I 
whoops, want to keep them, but they're all on the older side, so um, unfortunately I am going to go ahead and get rid of these three. And then my last lipstick in this little compartment here is from Bite Beauty. This is in the shade Pepper. I think this is such a pretty color, and my friend Bella actually got this for me. Her name is Isabella Goria here on YouTube. Um, if you guys don't know her, you should go check her out. <laughs> um, so I definitely will be keeping this one as well. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the lipsticks that were in the other drawer so I'm gonna just put them in here so there's actually a lot more than I thought in that drawer um a lot of these were also in a recent PR haul so they all fit in here um except for these ColourPop ones which I purchased these are the Sophia Nygaard and ColourPop collaboration I am gonna be keeping those but I'm just gonna set them right there for now two that I know I can declutter are these from Motives here are the two shades. We have Fetch and Seduced. They're both super pretty. I just do not need them, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter these. I feel like so far I'm not doing too shabby in the lipstick, like bullet lipstick area. I definitely have decluttered more than I've kept, so that's good. I don't know how long that's going to be true, though. I have these Laura Mercier ones, which um, I just got in a recent PR haul, and I do have a couple of Laura Mercier lipsticks. I think these three are, so I'm going to just double check on the shades and see if there's any duplicates. These are two that I already have. We have Beige in Time and Rose Decadent. So I will declutter these two. Um, those two will be able to be donated. Um, and then I will swatch the two that I already have so you can see what they look like. On top we have a Rose Decadent and the bottom one is Beige in Time. Beige in Time is one of my favorite lipsticks. I think it's such a pretty color. I highly recommend that. <laughs> um, this one on top, Rose Decadent, is a super fun color. Uh, so that means these two are shades I do not have. We have a Rose, Rouge, and Rouge Ultimate. So I am going to keep both of these. I have these two MAC lipsticks. We have Creme de Nude and Honey Love. Both of these lipsticks are super pretty. On top we have Honey Love and that bottom one is Creme de Nude. I am going to keep both of these. I have these two KKW lipsticks. I have the shade Nude and Enchantment. It's actually called Enchanting, my bad. So Enchanting is on the top and Nude is on the bottom. I am going to keep both of these. I'm absolutely in love with the packaging on these KKW lipsticks. I have this NARS lipstick in the shade Belle Du Jour. I just recently bought this and I will be keeping it. There is a swatch of it on the back of my hand. It's just a super nice natural nude. I have these two lipsticks from Exo Beauty. This is Shein Exo's uh, makeup brand. She also sells brushes. I have the shades Ubuntu, I think is how you say it, and Deja Vu. Deja Vu is on top and then the lighter shade is Ubuntu. I really hope I'm saying that right. I really don't know. Uh, but I'm definitely going to keep both of these. This is the Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade Board Meeting. I will also be keeping this one. All that I have left in here are a bunch of Fenty Beauty lipsticks, which they sent these to me as PR with the BoxyCharm box. Um, so I am going to swatch those and see if there's any that I don't need. There's like a ton of kind of like really deep colors that um, aren't super suitable for my lighter skin tone, so I'll go through those, um, and then those two that I originally showed you guys, um, those are in here as well. And then I have one of these Buxom lipsticks, and this entire row right here is full of these Buxom lipsticks. I have all the shades that they sent me. I don't think it's the entire collection, but it's a lot of them, so I do need to go through those and swatch them because I definitely don't need all of them. All right, you guys, so once again, it is like three days later. I initially planned on filming my entire lip declutter within a day or two, but things came up and that didn't happen. So I'm gonna finish today. We have to finish off this drawer and we also have the next drawer to do. Since all of this social distancing started, I haven't had a chance to go get my nails done, which I know a lot of people can relate. <laughs> so uh, Jervis actually painted my nails for me the other day and <laughs> yeah, they're cute. He did it. He did a nice job. So anyway, um, okay. I have one of these Buxom lipsticks, this whole entire front row right here is full of these buxom lipsticks so I'm just gonna set that there and we're gonna go through all of those um I have the Charlotte Tilbury one that I said I was already keeping and then this Fenty one that I said whoops I was already keeping the rest of these Fenty ones um I was sent in PR so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these I uh, don't think they're all gonna suit my skin tone which makes me sad but a lot of the shades are really really dark and just not like in my comfort zone so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch those and see what we've got 
lot. This first one is in the shade Shoddy. This next one is in the shade Candy Venom. The house next door to me is being renovated and so you're probably gonna hear lots of crazy sounds. That's been like a common thing I've been saying in my last several videos. But anyway, this next shade is the shade Single. Next we have the shade Clap Back. And then the last shade is called PMS. What I think I'm gonna do is keep these two shades and declutter the three darker ones just because I don't think I'm ever gonna wear those dark lip colors. If I ever do wear a dark, dark lipstick, it's going to be a liquid lipstick just because I'm gonna be scared it's gonna get everywhere, so. I'll keep two and declutter three. So now all that's left for me to go through is this organizer here of lipsticks. So I'm gonna keep this whole entire top row. I'm not even gonna touch that. Um, the YSL of Laura Mercier. Let me check these two MAC ones here. Saint Germain is definitely a little bit old. So I am gonna go ahead and back to MAC this shade Saint Germain, which is the pink shade. Um, it's really pretty, but it's definitely way too old for me to still be using on my lips. Uh, but I will be keeping the shade Whirl. 